SMU was a real experiment in terms of the curriculum for Singapore and the, the whole approach and style to it. And one of the responsibilities of the president was to make sure that the integrity of that experiment was maintained, uh, that we didn't just sort of fall off into one pattern or another because faculty were accustomed to the way they used to do things or the way it was done with them. So maintaining the integrity of that concept was very important. The second was recruiting uh, people. Now, I am the president. I'm not going to be out recruiting assistant professors for all the different disciplines, but had to make sure that the deans had in place the processes and the funding to be able to do so and do so effectively and, and well, and to maintain an identity that was Singaporean, but to make sure that we recruited people from all over the world to come in to the faculty, rather than just looking locally. Not that one should be negative about anything local, but rather as a permanent secretary of the Ministry of Education said at that time, we don't want the universities just churning their faculties around amongst themselves. We want you to bring fresh talent in from overseas, if you can. Some who may be Singaporeans who've gotten their PhDs there. So faculty recruitment, maintaining the integrity of the of the experiment itself, and attracting the best possible students for SMU. You know, we were still a startup, and, and the two very fine, distinguished, older universities, and so we were in pretty heavy competition with them to get good students. And then behind all this is something that presidents always have to worry about, and that is long-term financial uh, stability. We had a lot of startup money. Uh, and, and it was all well and good, but the president has to look 15, 20 years in the future to make sure that the foundation is there for financial stability long term, not just next year.